All right, so uh, we have to solve a few issues, and one of them is that we need to have a player model, and he has to have armor on him, like this. But we also want to be able to create more armor in Blender, and then bring it onto our character and have it work. So we're going to show how that works, and with this method, you can also use different... Um, different meshes for the character too. We're basically going to be assigning different meshes to the skeleton and this will be the result. So we took this mesh uh, from another skeleton that we made in Blender. We took the armor from another skeleton that was made. So <clears throat> yeah, I'll uh, demonstrate all that and we'll have this uh, player ready to go. All right, so we got our player that we made last video. Uh, we need to <clears throat> flesh that out a little more and actually make a player model. So the way we're going to do that is by going to Make Human. And if you've never uh, used this program before, it's pretty easy. Um, if you go to Make Human, I think, Community, you can go to here. This is where you can download it. It basically just builds human meshes for you. So I already have some made. The one we're going to be using is called Beefy Pete. And I want to be able to add clothes and models to him. So uh, we're going to do that. But first, what we're going to do is take all the clothes off of Beefy Pete. Except for his gray shorts, because they're going to be part of the model. It's like, uh, you know, Elder Scrolls never had completely naked models. So, uh, yeah, he's just going to have those uh, tiny little shorts. So, <clears throat> good fucking idea. Uh, Beefy Pete here, we're going to go ahead and say Files, uh, Export, and if you're using this for the first time, you're probably going to have to set some stuff up uh, in here, eyes, hair, teeth, topologies. You just got to go through and pick your options. It's not a very hard program. Uh, you pick what, you know, color you want them. Uh, so then we go to Export, uh, Beefy Pete, and I already have one on the desktop, so I'm going to call this um, Beefy Pete 2. And we're exporting, you'll see down here, it's exporting and it tells you the path where it exported. So we went straight to my desktop. Now what I'm going to do is actually go to... Oh, sorry, <clears throat> I grabbed the wrong window. I'm going to go to uh, Mixamo. And I've already uploaded my model, but I'll do it again for you guys. You just got to go to character, uh, upload character, select character file. Uh, I got to go to my desktop. Yeah, now you got him, you click next, you got to go to the chin. Uh, bam, put it on the chin, you got the wrists. Bam, throw it on the wrists, elbows. Bam, you got the knees. Bam, and the... Uh, dick all right now we're also gonna go three chain fingers uh, are we doing that I think so so beefy Pete is being rigged all right so our model looks pretty good uh, his uh, fingers are curling and moving and shit um, go to animations uh, so now, yeah, you can get any of these animations and you go to download and you can download them. I always download them with skin. I think that causes the least problems. Uh, I already have a bunch of these downloaded. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and download this one anyway. And I'm going to close out of the browser. Um, I'm going to go to Blender. Just open that up. We're going to pull these files into um, Blender. So I'll open up a new general, press A to delete everything. We're going to go to File, Import, and uh, we're going to import FBX. Uh, we'll go to Desktop. Um, I think it's... Oh, sorry, I have them in Downloads because I downloaded the files from Mixamo. But this is the one we just downloaded, I think. And if we play that, you can see that was the animation from the browser. <clears throat> we have this uh, file here that I've already done a lot of the work in. So uh, to demonstrate what I mean here is I had a bunch of uh, downloaded FBX that I brought in. And if we click on this, these are all the animations that I downloaded separately. So we got some shielding. Uh, we got a death. We got uh, a crouch. 
and uh, I think we have some walking and then some running so we got all that and what we're gonna do now is we have to go here I'm just gonna bring this to uh, I guess walking we have to edit this so if we edit the model uh, when we put clothes on and stuff there's they're gonna be poking the model is going to be poking through the clothes, so we need the ability to hide the model. And we can do that by separating it out into different portions and then hiding it uh, in the editor in uh, Godot. All oh, through code in Godot. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to wireframe. Uh, I'm in edit mode on the beefy Pete model. And what I'm going to do is this. Select his right foot, probably about to... I'm probably about there, and I'm just gonna say Control uh, P, separate by selection, and you see now it's sticking to the armature, so it's separate from the mesh, but it's still parented to the armature, so it's still gonna move with the animations, but it's not gonna move with the mesh, which is good because uh, now we can play animations and hide this. So uh, let me go here. So we go to click on that. We go to pose mode. Or, uh, yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter. So we go here and say he's got a boot on or something and we want to hide this foot, we can just click on the foot or we can, in Godot, we'd be able to access the foot mesh and just hide the foot and then we would put the boot mesh over top. And uh, yeah, then you wouldn't have that problem. Then the boot won't, then the foot won't be poking through the boot. So it'll make more sense. Um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep going with it go back to edit mode uh, I'm really just gonna separate it out at the joints I think that's my best option so like uh, shorts probably end like right up here uh, their pants will probably go through both segments of the leg I'm gonna do one on the like lower leg here to upper leg there and then as we go up I'll probably do the hand and then the uh, arm right here and then the arm up to the shoulder and then the shoulder and then the entire torso. And then the head's probably gonna be all one piece too. So I'm just gonna go through and do that real quick. So now everything is separated out into its own mesh. <clears throat> so we're gonna go uh, forward on the numpad and that reveals everything. We'll go to solid and we can still play the animation. So I have no idea how this is gonna work. This is just what I'm going for. So then uh, what we're gonna do is say uh, file export let's do GLTF for Godot and we're gonna say uh, attempt one attempt numero uno let's make a new folder for our player open it on up and put that on in there so, this is a fairly high poly model too. Uh, we'll see how that does. We're gonna go ahead and save it, legs out. We'll um, go over to Godot. Say new, 3D scene. Merge from scene. You gotta go down here and he'll uh, hit all files. Go to player, attempt one. Uh, we're gonna say here, we'll bring in everything. So here's our model, animation player. Looks like we got some good animations and we're sneaking. Right, and can we hide certain parts of the model?
Oh yeah, obviously we just click here. So those are the <laughs> those are the fucking eyeballs. That was funny as fuck. All right, there we go. Yeah, so we can hide certain parts of the model. So what I'm gonna do is go through and rename these so we have them renamed. Alright, so now that we got our, uh, our boy Beefy Pete here, what we're gonna do is get some clothes and armor for him from Make Human. Uh, so let me jump right back into Make Human. Sorry, I thought we were done with Blender, but I totally forgot about uh, equipping our guy, our lad here. Alright, so let's go to Files. Uh, we wanna open Beefy Pete. And we wanna go to Geometries. Um, Perfect. We're gonna go to files. Um, it's time to export beefy Pete. Uh, we're gonna say pull armor from, and then we'll export that. Oh shit, it's Colada. Film box, export straight to my desktop. All right, then we'll open it up in Blender. File, um, import, FBX. Uh, where is it? Pull armor from, there we go. All right, so we bring that in and we can go ahead and delete that. Uh, delete the human mesh, we don't need it. First thing we need to do is grab the pose bone and we need to go to pose. And uh, we need to press A to select everything. I'm going to create a new animation and just call this um, uh, rest. So what I'm going to do is go to the first frame, I'm going to delete everything except the first frame, and then I'm going to say Alt-R and Alt-G. And that brings it back up to its resting pose for all the bones, which is the same as our model. So it, it'll make it easier to match up everything. So then make sure to press I and uh, hit, you can do location, rotation, and scale, or available, it doesn't matter which one. And so now... Your model is like that, and we can do some uh, stuff to it. All right, so now we have our armor, and we have our guy here, but our armor is not parented to the guy. So there's uh, a couple of ways we can go about this. One of them, um, since this pretty much resembles the character model that we already have, since we used uh, Make Human, um, what I can do is just click on the armor and then shift select the uh, armature and say parents and we can go with automatic weights and that's going to assign the weights to the armor automatically so you can see that now it moves with the armature and we'll just play a couple animations to see how well it did so uh, you can see it's a little off in places and what we can do is actually go in and we can weight paint. Let me do a more dramatic pose. Uh, that'll help us get a better idea. Shielding. <clears throat> okay, so we can see that these down here are probably pulling in the wrong direction. So we need to go to weight paint and then we can go through the vertex groups and see oh, which which one so we go down <coughs> so we can see the left uh, left leg right here is pulling on this one which we don't want so we'll go to uh, draw we gotta go to where is it um, subtract sorry and we go to weight and so then we're hitting this one and then we're getting rid of all that deformation we also want to get rid of that deformation there so that's looking much better
and I think we hit that one, press control Z. We want to go to, instead of subtract, we want to go to add, and we want to add and make sure that we're getting this whole thing. And then, uh, let's see, there's got to be something else pulling it, so let's just go, I bet it's somewhere on the other leg. Yep, right there. So we'll go back to subtract and we'll just get rid of that influence. So we can go through and do this for the uh, entire model and I'll pretty much do just that. All right, so for uh, Beefy Pete, we've gone through and we've adjusted his armor to be pretty close to matching. Still a little iffy, uh, but I really don't feel like spending hours and hours on it, so that took about maybe 30 minutes. Uh, so we're going to just grab this and I'll demonstrate a couple animations. Oh, there we go, we got jumping. So it looks pretty cool. We can go to uh, material preview. Yeah, should look all right. So what we can do now is uh, we will export our beefy Pete into Godot. All right, so we'll go file, export, uh, GLTF, include, and we're gonna include everything. Uh, we're going to say character with armor. And we're going to put that in, um, let me go to a new folder. Uh, we're going to call this character with armor. Very creative. Select it and export it. It's going to take a second. All right, so now we can go down. Uh, we'll exit out of that. We'll go into Godot. All right, so we have our uh, character. So if we merge from scene and we go to, actually let's open up attempt one. We're gonna open that up. So this one, if I'm correct, we have the animations. So what I'm gonna try and do is this. Let's go to our skeleton here. We're going to merge from scene, character with armor, uh, character with armor, and we just want this, I think. So we'll press okay. So yeah. So because they have the same skeleton, as soon as we added that mesh, it knows where to go on uh, Beefy Pete. So we already had that made in Godot. So now if we run through our animations, our armor for the most part is working pretty well with our character. All right, so uh, thank you for watching that video. There's gonna be more coming. Uh, the next one's probably gonna be on UI. Uh, as you can see here, I kind of made my own model after the Morrowind UI. Uh, I'll go ahead and play that scene now. So we play it, we can click on here. Let me go full screen. Oh, we need to cancel that out and go full screen. We can scroll through here and uh, so that works. Um, these are not resizable, so I don't have that feature yet. And we got this monster over here that I made because I don't have a map yet. I gotta make a game world. It's probably gonna take uh, a couple days or something. And then uh, we have this, our character is going to be standing here just like the original. So um, yeah, it should look pretty cool. Uh, all I really did was just measure stuff and um, try to make it sync up. But yeah, more coming.